Today I'm going to talk about some risks when it comes to investing in cryptocurrency and DeFi. In my opinion right now, I think DeFi can be kind of unforgiving for new investors. So I hope from posting this video, um, I'm able to kind of let people know what to expect and what they're getting themselves into. So the first point is security, and probably this is the most important point. There are a lot of scams in this space. Doesn't matter what blockchain you're on, they are everywhere. And some examples include like pump and dump schemes where they'll hype up a coin, everyone buys it, and they'll sell at the top while everyone else sells at the bottom. Ponzi schemes where they'll use new money to pay out old investors, so on and so forth. Oftentimes these scam projects are going to advertise like high returns, so like maybe 1 or 2 percent a day. That's to attract the investors and then after a while once they hit their target that they want to steal, they'll disappear and run off with the money. So you really don't know and sometimes they've got some creative ideas so they might you know think up of a really legit project you know, that seems so believable, so sustainable but then when everyone least expects it, they'll disappear and all your money is gone. Another thing is um, smart contracts. So a lot of DeFi is associated with coding and software, and it would definitely help if you had a coding background, but I imagine most people don't. So what happens is if these smart contracts have like bad code written in them, um, maybe hackers or someone who has a little bit of coding background, they can find loopholes or exploits and that can potentially drain funds and cause people to lose money as well. Overall most of the crypto space is unregulated so if you do lose your money it's rather difficult to get it back which is why they say never invest more than you can afford to lose. The second point are black swan events. You may have heard recently of things like FTX or Terra Luna FTX in particular was a big one. It was a huge um, cryptocurrency exchange. You could have saw like their commercials on TV, their banners on sports stadiums. Um, they were pretty well known. And to see them collapse like that was just dramatic. It was crazy. So what this does show is that even the big players are not resistant to collapse. I even see like some FUD on uh, social media about Binance or Coinbase or something like that. And even if they're not true, if the FUD is, you know, if it spreads fast enough and if people actually panic, that can also cause issues. My third point is tokenomics. So when you're investing in a project or a protocol, oftentimes they'll give you a detailed plan of their tokenomics, um, probably in the white paper or something like that. The problem though is a lot of times these tokenomic plans are just game theory. So it's not really, it hasn't really been tested in real life economics. Um, and in this regard, you're probably the test subject. So if it does well, you know, you benefit. If it doesn't, you're dragged down with them. So I would highly recommend taking a look at tokenomics um, if they post it and see if you agree with it, if you like it or not, before investing. My fourth point is that most coins are going to fail. Uh, there's just a lot of coins in this space. There are thousands upon thousands, and most of them you probably haven't even heard of, I haven't even heard of. And the problem here is there just isn't enough money to pump all these coins up. You might get a few lucky ones here and there, but most of them just are just going to fade away eventually. And lastly is the fifth point, which is stable coins, um, and they can depeg. So if you don't know what a stable coin is, they're essentially cryptocurrency coins that are pegged to a certain value. For the most part, they're usually pegged to the uh, US dollar. And what happens is a lot of people tend to get comfortable holding stable coins because it's just, you know, it tends to just stay at one dollar or something like that. However, these can depeg. Say a black swan event occurred, they their price can drop just as fast as any other coin. So just what this shows just be diligent, keep up to date with all your investments, um, you know, do your own research. And even then, honestly, when you do your own research, like some of the information out there can be hidden. Um, some of the information, not everyone knows, like investors might not know, maybe only the developers or people inside the team, like some top secret stuff that they know. So it's, it's pretty hard. Um, 
So, which is why you just want gotta do your best. But yeah, I hope this uh, video gives people an idea of what to expect. Um, understand the risks. Do your best to do your research. Um, none of this is financial advice. Always invest intelligently and do your own due diligence. Good luck.